Greetings YouTube and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here with build number 125. This is a Padron box. The top is the back and the back is the top. I have some nice elongated F holes there. Of course the hinge and my saddle bridge. This is a plug into a piezo system. I, peel, I sanded it down and then dark stained it. The neck is a one piece pine with the uh, Home Depot dark stained yardstick for the fretboards and nails for the top. This is adjust intonation, adjust temp temperament fret spacing. And this guitar actually represents the last guitar that I'm building using my ear as the guide. And the reason being is because a guy here at work so kindly went out of his way to create me. He printed it out on a laser cutter, the uh, template, a 25 inch scale. And I was curious to see, this is for the B string, the E string, and the A string. And I was curious to see how it lined up with what my ear said. And you can see my minor third is just a little off, I'm a little flatter. That's probably because I've been a product of equal temperament. And also my flatted seven, I have a tendency to gravitate toward the harmonic that's on the B string. Other than that, I pretty much nailed it. Um, so anyhow, this guitar here, Guitar number 126, Catch 22, was built using the template, and I didn't put all the frets in there. I left some out. I wanted this to be, have like a dulcimer kind of a feel, but you can hear how these thirds just nail. So there you have it. Remember, six strings are three strings too many.